Kipumuzi au ventilator ni kifamba cho kimekuwa muhimu mno duniani lakini thamani yake nayo imezidi uwezo wa nchi nyingi. Kwa mara nyingine huu nchini kuna wakenya ambao wamebuni kifaa hicho na kuonyesha ujuzi wao. Mose Sudiambo na Avin Galot wamependezwa na kazi ya mikono yao. Wanachokifanya sasa ni kufikiri mbinu nyingine ya kuimarisha mtambo wao. So, first step is you have the oxygen tank. Okay? But the tank has a lot of pressure. So, hiyo pressure yote haizienda direct kwa patient. So, the first thing inafanya tunapitisha hapa kwa valve. Unaona? Sasa hapa tumetumia pipe za maji. Hii tumetumia valve ya kuregulate hiyo pressure inaingia hapa ndani. Hii tumetoa kwa washing machine. Hii ni valve ya washing machine. Lengo lao ni kuhakikisha endapo baadhi ya wagonjwa wa corona watahitaji vipumuzi watakuwa mstari wa mbele kuwasaidia. Let's be a part of the solution and not part of the problem by panicking. And this is what started this entire project. This is not a this is not a, a Kenyan problem. It's not, a, it's not just a global problem. It's a humanitarian problem. This one is to save lives. Moses Odiambo, mbunifu mwenzake na tuarifu kipumuzi chao cha majaribio kwa sasa kinaweza kufanya kazi kama kipumuzi chochote kinachotumika hospitalini. So kama hiyo nimefungulia oxygen sasa. Sasa ni oxygen sasa inapitishwa na ile rate tumeweka. Sasa tunaweza kupunguza. Kando na hilo wameongeza mtambo wa kompyuta utakao tumika kudhibiti jinsi hewa itakuwa inasukumwa kutoka kwa mtungi wa gesi kwenda kwa mgonjwa. The next part ni hii circuit board. Tumeprogram tume yeze kuregulate oxygen. Ukiona hapa inatumia charge ya simu. Kwa hivyo power consumption ni very low. Unaona? Sasa hapa hii ni kit ya kuregulate sasa hii pressure. Sasa oxygen imeingia. But unajua patients are in different levels. Kuna ule anahitaji oxygen nyingi, kuna mzee, kuna mtoto, kuna kijana, wote wanapumua at different levels. Vifaa vyote hivi walivyovitumia kuunganisha kipumuzi chao wamevitoa humumu humu nchini wakisema hawatochoka hadi pale kipumuzi chao kimeokoa maisha. We are at war. The doctors are our soldiers. We have we all have a responsibility of what we need to do. There are other inventors who are trying to do this. Vijana hawa wanatumia eneo hili kama chumba cha ubunifu. Kwa sasa kuunda mtambo huu wa kipumuzi ukiwa ndio mradi wao wanaupatia kipaumbele. Kulingana nao serikali zingatie kuwapa nafasi kuonyesha ubunifu wao na jinsi utakavyosaidia kuokoa maisha si tu hospitalini lakini pia nyumbani wakati wa dharura. Dennis Matarake 24 Weekend